Join me as I tackle the challenge of mastering to complete a log sheet in Microsoft Excel. Completing the log sheet in Microsoft Excel is essential for tracking data efficiently, help you stay organized, and make it easier for you to analyze your data. Without any further ado, let's look at how do we get to um, doing this particular process in Excel. Right in front of us now we have a spreadsheet which represent a log sheet that um, this particular employee has to complete for his organization that he works for. Okay, right. So this is the name of the person. All right. And then this is the employee number. And then he is working for the department uh, of photography. Then this is the month of January. All right. This log sheet was completed for January. Right. So we're going to start from here. Um, this log sheet has already been completed. But what we're going to do now is to work on the one which is on the next month. All right. So but what is important for me to indicate is that we need the final closing kilometers of the last, last month before we can get to the next month all right so this is the last uh, closing kilometers for this particular person so now we're going to work on the next month which is february let's get to february all right okay the entries have been uh, entered already as you can see and uh, let me just uh, take you through some of the headers in these columns okay we have the date we have the speedometer of the car we have the official kilometers private kilometers uh, time of departure time of arrival in terms of the trips that the employee makes when he or she is at work then the physical address from where maybe uh, the person starts from traveling and then this is uh, the, 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 uh, the the place where in you are going to put in the information regarding the physical address of where you will be traveling to. So if ever you are not traveling alone, you are with somebody else or some other colleagues of yours, you're going to indicate the number of those that are in your car. All right? Then the last column is the purpose for the trip. All right. So this is the spreadsheet that we're going to use to complete our log sheet, right? Remember, I have indicated that we need the opening uh, kilometers here. This is what we call uh, brought forward. We're going to take from the previous month. Let's go to the previous month. This was the last kilos, okay? The last kilometer uh, here was 6143, okay? So we need it here. Six, one, four, three. All right. So this, these are the number of kilometers uh, that were last recorded when this employee traveled to work. All right. So this, this is the one that we need to put here. All right. So now that we are in the month of February, this particular employee has started going to work or reporting to work on the 25th of February. All right so here we have the the brought forward then here we're going to indicate um the um official kilos then here is going to be private already there is data that has been entered here i'm going to in, uh, explain to you all right from here the employee travels from his work, um, home okay this is the departed um, physical address or where the, the employee traveled from, okay? He, he stays in this particular address, uh, 245 Kulani Street, Dobsonville, all right? Then he travels to work. Uh, this is his work address here, all right? He was alone, okay? He was reporting for work. And then how many kilometers did he travel? He traveled, 20, it is 25 uh, kilometers from his home, to his workplace okay he departed from his house at seven o'clock and then he arrived at uh, 10 to 8 all right so in terms of official kilos it's gonna be zero and then in terms of private because he's traveling from his um, house to his workplace it's 25 kilometers all right so now we're going to have 
the kilos being uh, recorded here. So we're going to add the private kilos plus the official kilos plus the brought forward from the last month in order to get the total for for this okay and the answer is supposed to be here all right in this cell um b13 so now we need to think of um what excel formula or function are we going to use to get the total of the kilometers that i have spoken about so this is what we're going to do we're going to say equals to and what is needed here is the sum formula okay of some function i'm gonna type it it's gonna pop up and then from the list of uh, the functions that have pop up i'm looking for this i'm gonna double click on sum all right what are we adding here we want to add cell d25 which is having the private kilos and uh, the official kilos um, on c13 of which there is no official kilo because the person has traveled from home to work all right plus the total kilos of or from the last month all right so that is what we're going to add so we go just going to have to click on d 13 all right then shift plus this uh, plus um symbol to uh, to indicate that we are adding we are adding together with what c 13 all right then again plus the brought forward from the last month this is the one here we're going to click on it okay then press enter in order to get the total there we go we have the total now so what has happened is that we have added 25 plus 0 plus 6143 now we have uh, 6168 all right so remember this is the log sheet which is intended to cover for the entire month all right as you can see here all right so now we're going to uh, also add up the kilos in terms of the remaining days of the month as you can see so now that we have the formula the next thing that we need to do we didn't we don't have to enter the formula in each and every cell here in order to get to the total we can just copy the formula all right instead of retyping the formula we just put our case out on cell b13 where our answer is all right then we go to the menu bar there we click on copy right then we highlight all the remaining cells until the last month the last day of the month okay thereafter what is needed is to press enter right after having pressed enter you can see that now the function has managed to add up all the kilometers uh, of the other remaining days of the month and then we have the total by the end of the month um, we ended up having this particular uh, function here which is the total of the entire month okay let me correct the date there it's supposed to be 28 february all right fine so the 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 the, the, the end kilos that we are having there is 6531 all right so now the function has added both official kilos and private kilos all right so now we have the total for that remember i said we just copy the function all right alternatively um in order for you to add the 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 the, the kilometers here uh, let me delete what has um happened here uh, i'm gonna delete this okay show you another way of doing it okay now that we have the answer here on cell b13 and then we want it to perform the same function on the remain remaining cells so that we uh, end up having the totals of those other cells all right what we can do again in, uh, as an alternative from what you i've shown you you can just put your cursor right there at the um, corner of that cell the right side of the cell okay there will be a plus sign that will 
pop up, all right? As soon as it pops up, click and drag down. It is another way of cop copying the formula, okay? There we are. We have the answer again, all right? So th that is how you add the private and the um, official kilos here, all right? Then when we get down here, or alternatively again, uh, uh, the way of uh, getting to the answer here, it could be um, in this way. I can remove this. Okay, I can delete this again. Uh, the other alternative way of doing this is gonna be uh, that. Okay, you, I have shown you that uh, it could be that of saying equals to. All right, you type sum again. Okay, double click. Then you say, what are you doing now? You are adding D14, okay, plus uh, a C14, okay, plus B13, okay, from the previous um, uh, day. Then you enter, you have the answer. That is the other way of doing it, okay? Let's just uh, copy the formula and drag it down there. There we are. We are having the total. Right. Then this is not all. Remember, we are expected to indicate the closing uh, kilometers. We're going to copy exactly what is here. Okay. Type exactly what is there. Okay. 6531. All right. That is the closing kilometer. And then here, we need to have the total, okay, for the month in terms of the official kilometers, all right? From here, the first day until the last day. So that is what is going to give us the total for the month, all right? What are we going to do? We're going to put our cursor here. This is where we need our total. It's going to be equals to, this is the sum function again, all right? You type sum, it's gonna pop up, you choose it, all right? Then what are you going to do next is to highlight from the first cell, which is C3 to C23, all right? Then press enter. Then you have the answer, all right? Okay, then you can just uh, put your cursor there and then copy this formula and then paste it on the next cell where you are expected to calculate the private kilometers, okay? You can put the cursor there, then press enter. You see, it has now added these other kilometers without you again performing the same function. You just copy the one that you have used here. All right, let me delete, show you another way of doing it, okay? Right, we said that we need to have the official uh, total of all the official kilometers there all right how do we get to getting the 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 sum of all the uh, official kilos okay you put your case away you need your answer all right then you you go to the formula bar then you choose the sum function there all right there is the sum function i click on it all right now it tells me that it's going to add c3 to c24 and when i check all right, even though C24 is not having anything there, I can leave it as it, as it is or else backspace and say up to C23, okay? But because in cell um, C24, there's nothing there, I can just leave it as it is and then press enter, all right? There is the answer again, okay? That is another way of doing it. We can also do it in the private uh, kilometers. You put your case away, you need your answer. Then you go to the formula bar here on the menu. Okay. Then you click on auto sum. All right. That's the formula that you want. It's going to calculate uh, cell D13 to cell D24. Okay. That is what you want. You click, click on enter. Then you have the answer. Right. From there, you are expected to have the total for the month, which is made up of both official kilos and private kilos, right? So again, it's a, a, a sum function which is needed. You're going to put your cursor here, 
right where the answer is needed for the total for the month which is made up of both official and private kilometers all right i i put my cursor there i'm going to click on equals to then i'm gonna type sum again there's sum it pops up i double click on it then i'm saying i'm adding cell c25 plus cell d25 all right then press enter there is the answer now i have the total for the month which is made up of both official kilos and private kilos so now my log sheet is ready for the month i can submit it uh, to the transport department in terms of this particular uh, organization that um, magizi baloi is working for all right so it is now complete it has the information then you can track your 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 trips you can track um your your, your time then the official kilos and the private kilos so basically that is how you can uh, work on excel in terms of completing your log sheet for the department that you work for of course you can customize this template based on the requirements in your organization but uh, the basics that are needed is that of uh, being able to use the excel function uh, that will add up uh, your totals in order for you to have that what is needed by your organization thank you very much for having made time to join us today in this um, particular video wherein we were looking at how we can use microsoft excel to complete our log sheet in in order for us to submit to the transport department in the organization that we work for don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can get more educational videos like this in future thank you for your time bye bye